Hello there everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. We are back in this little section. How difficult can it be to make this little section look nice? Well, for any of you who've watched me for a little while, we'll know, well, this was going to be third attempt because I just cannot get it right. However, I've been so excited all week and preparing behind the scenes for the final transformation. The trouble with this area is it never gets any sun. It is about that deep of soil and a whole semicircle is the remains of an old tree trunk which we had a tree here which had to be chopped down and so nothing there's no room to grow. Now I've thought this is what I'm going to do. First of all I'm going to move this fountain elsewhere and I'll have the perfect solution and then I'm going to show you what I'm planning for this and I've been so excited so first of all let's move this fountain and come with me and I will show you where I'm planning for the fountain to go just around here I have thought this is going to be perfect you see that little square there I think if I put the fountain there it's going to look delightful. It's going to, oh no, have a plug, you see? So it's perfect. What I need to do is these pots or planters with the ferns, which the ferns are doing very well. I think all I need to do is just move them along very, very slightly, maybe a couple of inches, just so that I can get the fountain you can see the size of the fountain there just flush against the edge of the cabin there I should mention Richard doesn't know I'm doing this so I'm trying to do it quickly while he's gone out shopping so, because if he sees me do it, he'll, he will veto the process, I'm sure. So it's best if I just do it and then he'll come back and it will be done. And he'll say, oh my goodness, what a fantastic idea. adjust my fern slightly. I get a very tranquilly beautiful. Right, so that's there like that. It's just gonna go here I think. Let's just see. Make sure it works. And then what I can do is uh, tidy away these need to turn it on inside the cabin. Yes, action. Oh. Lovely. 
So I'll tidy away those wires, get some clips or something to sort of uh, tie it up so it's not a great big long, but anyway, what do you think? I think it's really, really nice. Perfect. So that frees up this area here. I had this snail and this snail I've had for 25 or 30 years been in my garden. I have painted it once a long, long time ago, but I wanted to paint it. So I decided to spray it black, first of all, just to get a base coat on it. Then I had some lime greeny colour I thought I'll put that on. I'm not artistic at all, but I was going to try and paint a beautiful pattern. So I picked some colours near the green that I'd sprayed and tried to blend and I just did these lines and spiralled it round a Fibonacci circle. It looked absolutely awful, dreadful. So I went ahead and painted most of it brown and I just left a couple of little bits of the original colours exposed. Uh, it was a bit flat looking the brown after that so I decided to just try and streak some different tones on. So here's how my snail turned out and I really like it and of course I got carried away and we did a little tortoise that I already had and another one. So they're all going on the new display. I also have some of these gorgeous Lamium because Lamium can tolerate the shade. It's a good ground cover. I have quite a lot. Good ground cover. I probably have too much, but I like to see some instant impact. Two more. Yes, I want instant impact. So that's what I'm going to plant. And then if the uh, lamium spreads too much, I can just dig some up and put it elsewhere. And so I'm going to raise this up with a couple of bags of soil.
Here's the finished look. I really, really like it. Lamium should be okay in the shade all the time. But I'm very pleased how my snail turned out. And my little tortoise. That one doesn't have a leg. Maybe we should turn him round so we don't notice. Oh, no, it notices. Well, that's okay. You can have one leg. You might have seen that I cut quite a bit of the soil off of the bottom of the roots of these lamiums just so that it would fit in. It's got a lot more soil than it had. So fingers crossed. We can but try. Thank you so much for joining me in my garden again today. And I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. I hope you're having fun in your gardens, wherever you may be. Thank you always for watching. Take care everyone. Hopefully I will see you again next week. Bye.